go see her friends, Maggie. Let's go see the neighbors. Come on. Good morning, buenos dias. Maggie's taking a poop over there, so we know the day has begun. It is about 9.30 in the morning now. We woke up at 6.30, and uh, I this is like an impromptu what I eat in a day. I didn't think I was going to film today, and then I watched some carnivore what I eat in a days that were recently posted, and I was like, God damn, I got to get back on my what, what I eat in a day, putting out actual, real, good, healthy information what I eat in a day vlogs versus these carnivore nonsense vlogs. So, so far I've just drinking a bunch of water. I made some local Nicaraguan coffee this morning. I drink my coffee black, no sugar, no plant milk, uh, even though that's fine if you do, but I like the taste of it. And I, let me pause this Tiger Belly podcast with Andy Dick that I am listening to, which is the funniest podcast ever and like a lot of you say Jackson you need to take a break from social media you're into such like serious stuff with debating carnivore people and people questioning your dedication to animal rights which is total bullshit like you need to take a break man you're probably stressed and the reality is yes like maybe 20% of my day is spent on making content and watching other people's videos and responding to positive comments negative comments but a lot of my day I I also balance it out with calling my parents like almost every other day, talking to my siblings, talking to my personal, calling my personal friends back in LA and in Colorado, uh, listening to podcasts that make me laugh so much. Like I balance it out with a lot of positivity too that hopefully you can see through my energy uh, that my life is not stressful. Like I've gotten some messages recently because people just don't know how I actually feel, only judge me based on like my Instagram posts and say like, dude, are you okay? Do you need some help like things seem really serious right now guys I live a very light-hearted fun great life here in Nicaragua this is my uh, little neighborhood I have an Airbnb for two weeks here in a gated community in my Airbnb which you'll see later today I'll give you a tour I have a kitchen two bedrooms a living room a backyard all private all to me uh, with Wi-Fi and it's $20 per night in this gated, safe community. It's incredible. During my coffee, I was responding to new comments on my YouTube channel, which I do every morning. Uh, I watched Health Coach Kate's video. You should definitely go watch it. She compares one of my What I Eat in a Days with Drew Morg's What I Eat in a Day, and she goes through objectively like the different nutrition profiles based on chronometer, and also just some beliefs and information we have. Maggie, don't fight the doggies through the fence. They don't have as free of a life as you, and it's sad. It's sad, Maggie. You're a free girl. They're not free. A lot of people have dogs and just never let them out here. It's so sad. Secu the dogs are used as security, not as individuals and members of the family. It's devastating. But so I watched Health Coach, Coach Kate's video. You should go check it out. Responded to comments. I am starting to upload a video comparing uh, vegan doctors to carnivore doctors and their kind of professional credentials and histories and also this dude Alex the Great on Instagram messaged me and was like hey Jackson you inspired me to do my first bike tour I'm doing it in a few weeks I was wondering can I do like a coaching consultation with you in order to get some information and to pick your brain and I was like dude I inspired you to do a bike tour and you're vegan that's freaking epic just let's get on the phone right now uh, and I did it for free talked to him for 30 minutes answered all the questions he needs and you know because I'm just a good helpful guy it's what I do so I actually have almost all of the food already at my house that I want to eat today today's a rest day by the way I'm lifting weights here during my Airbnb time right outside of Managua Nicaragua where I am and so it's five dollars unlimited for the entire week to weight lift at the local gym which is like a five minute bike ride from my house which is absolutely incredible but uh, today is my rest day I've lifted the last Last three days so you guys are seeing a rest day what I eat in a day I'm not doing any exercise except walking around a little bit with Maggie and I have most of the food that I want but the main market is like in town which is like a five ten minute bike ride 
but in my just local neighborhood here, there's people that sell fruits from their backyards. That's how local this part of the world is. Like every small town, you'll see people selling bananas, breadfruit, jackfruits, mangoes, banana, like whatever they have in their backyard. And I saw a dude uh, yesterday, he's got a bunch of breadfruit. Breadfruit is my favorite cooked food. I guess you can eat it raw if you let it ripen up, but mainly people eat it unripe and you steam it or fry it just like a potato and it is my favorite so we're gonna go get some breadfruits you like breadfruit maggie get your ball look how smart she is get your ball and let's go good baby girl that's my baby maggie right here we got a massive thriving mango tree i see huge thick mangoes on there and my little local fruit vendor is right around the corner. Let's go see him, Maggie. So here's what we got for local fruit. Mangoes from these trees, coconuts, these trees, avocados, these trees, tomatoes, don't know where they're from. <gasps> Hello, my Maggie. And here's what I came for, the mazapan, the breadfruit, the best cooked vegan food I've had. And you can eat it raw if it's super ripe, but I love it. Got plantains, local limes. This is all local, my friends. Right, my Maggie? I stop and do meditations all the time throughout my day. You know, there's so many people who message me like, I'm trying to get consistent with meditation. I can't fit it in in my busy schedule. I just have so much compassion for those people because I've designed my life by creating this little online business and learning how to live so minimalistically and off so little money that as long as I get my work done of making my videos and doing my thing, but I don't have a boss, I don't have certain hours, I can just stop all the time and take a little moment to get to connect back to the earth, put my bare feet on the ground, breathe deeply, do a little meditation, and that's why I'm able to be so happy and live this lifestyle long term. in my whole goddamn life, but so worth it, because they're so sick. Yes, looks good. Looks crunchy, deep, rich red, that's what we want. And here we got breakfast. The first bowl, this is the first half of the watermelon. I'll probably eat the entire watermelon. Look at my backyard. Listen to the cicadas and the beetles humming. We got watermelon with passion fruit and daily green boost powder, the best greens powder in the biz. It's a vegan company, a small company, raw, organic, uh, vegan of course. It's just one ingredient. It's barley grass juice powder so it's the sprout of the barley plant juiced and then dehydrated in a bottle for you it's the best to get that dense uh, minerals and vitamins instead of having to eat 10 salads in a day so uh, when you buy it on dailygreenboost.com it's the only place to buy it use the discount code plantriotic for 10 percent off We play all day. It's about 98 degrees outside Fahrenheit, and we spend most of the day in the house on the fans, uh, and then come out here to our little backyard, beautiful little backyard, all private, uh, and we play with this with the broom. 
and I can be naked because no one can see me. The street's over there. Um, and, oh, you got it, man. Good job. I've been editing thumbnails, editing videos, talking with people online, working for the last three hours. It is now about 1 p.m. and it's time to make lunch. Uh, I, I want to check in and tell you about what my goals are and what I'm eating these days. You know, generally speaking, I advocate for a low-fat, whole foods, plant-based diet. 10 to 20 calories from fat, uh, maybe 10 to 15% protein, then the rest carbohydrates. But my diet slightly changes depending on the results that I want in whatever I'm doing. If I'm looking to get a little ripped and lose a little weight, I might focus more on the steamed vegetables and lower calorie foods. If I'm lifting weights and trying to put on some size like I currently am, look at those striations in the titties, rock hard by the way, beautiful. Um, I'm eating a higher calorie diet like today, eating a little over 3,000 calories with no real exercise, and I might try to eat a bit more beans and fats and sunflower seeds and stuff like that. Um, in order to facilitate that muscle growth. So my diet is always changing a little bit macronutrient wise and caloric wise based on my results. But yeah, so right now I'm trying to build, trying to grow, and that's what this lunch is going to reflect. Give me that broom. Give it to me. You're too good, Maggie. You're too good at this, I can't even get it. You guys didn't see Maggie's breakfast, but uh, you'll see what she eats for dinner, which is the same as breakfast. Look how pretty you are. How'd you get so pretty? Did you tell us that? How'd you get so pretty? You're beautiful. First thing in the recipe, what we bought this morning, breadfruit. Like, breadfruit can change the world. It, it grows everywhere, it goes wa grows wild over here, and it actually doesn't really have a season. It's almost always fruiting. You can eat it raw when it's super ripe, but mainly people cook it. So you can eat it unripe, you steam it, and it's like a dense calorie, potato essentially and it grows everywhere in the tropics and we know that fruit trees are the most sustainable food because you don't need to be digging up the soil displacing wildlife uh, disrupting the earth it's just you plant a tree and for decades and decades your whole lifetime it produces fruit with very little work or effort they call fruit farms the lazy man's farm and that's a good thing and breadfruit can change the world if everyone ate more of this stuff instead of industrial rice or meat and stuff like that this is the shit plantains another interesting fruit that you can eat ripe when it's super ripe but is uh, better eaten unripe and cooked. Bananas, of course, you eat ripe, but these plantains are delicious cooked. So we got the breadfruit and plantains steamed up in there, just halfway filled with water, boiled and steamed. And then here we got broccoli, onion, garlic, and tomato with some salt, black pepper, and a little hot sauce and soy sauce with water and just, just a dash of olive oil cooking in there. And that is gonna be lunch with beans that I freshly cooked on the stove, soaked and then cooked, local beans from the area. The breadfruit is literally local to my neighborhood, plantains local to my neighborhood, and I'm not sure where these came from, but I'm guessing within 40 miles of where I am. And we got my sauerkraut that I made simply by putting shredded cabbage, beets, onion, and salt in a jar, pack it down, let it breathe, and you're good to go. Wait about four days. I live like a traveling savage. Like, I'm not taking day trips when I'm on the bike. I'm sleeping outside. I'm in new places every minute, every hour. Like, I'm seeing things. It's just 
overload of newness and information and beautiful sights that when I get an Airbnb, my days are quite relaxed. I mean, today was also a rest day and I've taken some adventures into Managua to get my tattoo and stuff like that, but I mainly like to just work. I've been on my computer all day making videos, editing videos, connecting with people, and I like to relax. I like to keep it super chill. I'm a homebody just as much as I am a traveling person, so yeah, I mean, today I just showed you my food, but I've mainly just been home, chilling, hanging out with Mad Maggie, cuddling, working, playing outside, and we're gonna go on our second walk of the day around the neighborhood. And then come back for dinner, which is mainly gonna be leftovers from lunch. The Young Turks, which is my news source for American domestic and international news. I still like to keep up with that stuff even while traveling. And here's my salad. Got lettuce, avo, onion, passion fruit, mango, carrots. And oh dang it Maggie, I, for I already fed Maggie and I forgot to show you her dinner. Maggie ate rice, beans, and pumpkin and daily green boost powder, and uh, flax seeds, all mashed together with veggie oil. This is her veggie oil, um, and that was her dinner, mainly beans and then rice and stuff, and you gotta cook it down really well, mash it all together, mix it up, and you loved it, right? Where's my Maggie? She went back in my room to go to sleep. Um, and then me, leftovers here, a big pot of breadfruit, and carrots and beans and all that good stuff and I'm gonna eat it while watching the Young Turks and probably some Rose Yam Nama Yunus fights because uh, she's fighting in the UFC this Saturday. I'm so excited. She's my MMA crush. I love you Rose. I know you're watching. Cringe. This was a great day, productive day, but also relaxing, not having to be on the road all the time, which is nice to take a break. And it's just amazing. Go watch some carnivore, what I eat in a day is like, all my food is vibrant and beautiful and lovely. And maybe you think that meat and butter and eggs are those things too, but just go watch them. It's, it's just weird and crazy to see the differences and contrasts and to watch my friends posting like Insta stories of just eggs frying in butter on the stove, which we've known for so long is so not good for your heart and for your health, just spinning it off as like, this is the most nutrient dense, healthiest food on the planet. Show me the evidence. <laughs> Show me the evidence. Much love, Dream Extreme. <laughs>